Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to use the anim to texture plugin in Unreal Engine 5 to create animated materials for Animesh. As you can see the final result looks identical to the original animation with no visible differences. This technique lets you bake animations into textures making it great for optimizing real-time rendering. Plus, it's easier to integrate with Niagara Particles for even more dynamic effects. Let's dive in. Let's start by enabling the Anim to Texture plugin. Go to Plugins, go to Animation, and tick the box to activate the Anim to Texture plugin. Then restart the engine. Once the engine restarts, let's add some animations to our project. For this tutorial, I will be using the African Animals Pack from Fab. I will include the link in the description, but feel free to use any animations you prefer. Now let's create a new folder, right click, new folder, let's call it anim 2 texture now let's search for the skeletal mesh of the model we'll be using, in my case the crocodile. Click on the make static mesh button and save it to your desired location. Finally, drag and drop the newly created static mesh into your level. Now let's locate the material used by our static mesh. To do so, let's click on the loop icon next to the material slot. Let's duplicate the material, right click and select duplicate. Let's call it M Crocodile Bone and let's move it to the Anim to Texture folder. In this part we need to have the show plugin content enabled, click on settings and tick the show plugin content. Then open the content browser, go under engine, plugins and search for anim to texture content. Double click on the folder, you will have two folders, characters and materials. Open the character materials, under mannequin we will find two static meshes. The SM mannequin bone animation and the SM mannequin vertex animation. In this video, we will take a closer look at the SM Mannequin Bone animation. Double click on the SM Mannequin Bone animation, let's open its material instance and open the parent material. Now let's copy these 5 nodes, select them, right click, copy. Open the crocodile material, the material we have created earlier and let's create a node the make material attribute and let's cable all the attributes to as the original material now let's check the use material attribute to use material attribute at the end of the shader now let's paste the nodes we have copied from the the sm mannequin bone animation and apply our material Right click on the material and select create material instance to create a material instance from this material. Now double click to open it. Let's go under the layer parameters. Let's expand the background, the layer asset and the texture parameter values. Here we need to generate three different textures to be used with our material. Let's go under our workspace and into texture, right click, select the texture section and select render target right click on the render target and select create static texture let's remove our render target and let's rename our created texture to tx underscore bone position let's duplicate this the static texture and create another one tx bone rotation and the third one tx bone weights now let's assign the, these three textures to their corresponding parameters. Now let's get back to the anim to texture content folder. Let's copy the BP anim to texture blueprint to our workspace. Also under data, let's copy the DA bone animation asset 
under our workspace. Double click on DA bone animation. Here we have some settings we need to adjust. Let's start by the skeletal mesh. Select the crocodile skeletal mesh. Then under static mesh, let's select the static mesh we have created earlier. Then under these three textures, let's assign the textures we have created in the previous step. TX bone position, bone rotation and bone weight. Now let's move to the animations. Here we have three different animations from the example. Let's clear, let's empty the list and let's add the animation we, ha we want to use. Now select, in, in my, in this case, in this tutorial, I will be using the, the walk animation. Let's search for walk. And that's it. Let's make sure the autoplay box is ticked and that's it. Now let's open the BP Anim to Texture Blueprint. Here we have the two cases, the vertex animation and the bone animation. In our case, we're only gonna use the bone animation case. Then let's delete the update material instance from data asset function corresponding to the second material slot. We only have one, one material slot for our crocodile. If you have multiple slots, you need to create as many as slots you have. Let's put the material instance we have created earlier and let's adjust the bone data asset variable to the DA bone animation we have created earlier. Now we only need to right click and select run editor utility blueprint to execute the, the node, the blueprint nodes. Now we have the three textures generated and the material set to be used with the static mesh. Let's set the material to the material slot under the static mesh and here we have our crocodile is playing the walk-in animation through the bone animation technique. Note that if we get far from the object we will have some problems with the animation with the static mesh. It's due to the LD and the bone animation technique only works with one LD. So we have to make sure our static mesh don't have multiple ones. This technique doesn't work even with Nanite, so if we try to test activating Nanite on our crocodile, we will take a look at close, at far distance, we have the same problem as the LD problem. Let's disable Nanite and let's remove our different the, our LODs. Under LOD settings, let's reduce the number of LODs from three in my case to only one and apply changes. This will remove the two other LODs and now we have the problem fixed. And that's it. This is how to make static mesh uses animations only with their materials. Now let's go further. This technique allows us to use multiple animations, not only one. Let's open the DA bone animation under a new sequence. Let's add a new material. Let's select in this case the crocodile walk turn left and let's add a third animation. Let's select the walk turn right. Now we have three animations. Let's go back to the BP anim to texture blueprint. Right click, run editor utility blueprints. It will generate new textures and new parameters for our material. Let's go back to check some info. Under info animation, here we have the list of our animations and the start and end frame of each animation. For example, here we have the second animation between 62 and 92. Let's open the material instance. Let's expand the scalar parameter value and here we can adjust the end frame and the start frame. Let's put the end frame at 92. The start frame is by default to zero. Here we have the three animations will be played one after the other.
in case we are using multiple animations it's always possible to set the start and end frame so that you can select one animation to play in loop or play multiple ones also some other parameters can be adjusted like the play rate for example to play faster or slower and that's it for this tutorial guys thanks for watching if you find this helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more unreal engine content see you in the next video